Hi guys, so today it's very very warm, humid and sticky, but nevertheless I have a double unboxing. When I bought my new earrings, you know those are stone, this one here has a little chip gun off it. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys. I don't know if that's possible. I need to hit the light properly. Can you see there, there's a chip missing in the corner. So that's very sharp. I wrote to the guy and he said to me, oh no problem, I'll just send you another one replacement. So that's what this is. So. Let's just quickly get into that and get that out so I can have another one. I'll keep this 41 uh, just in case the other one should break. See, there we go. Nice one here, so I can use that instead. That's really good service. Thank you to um, the guy on eBay for sending me another replacement free of charge. Looks really, really nice. Wow, this has a really, really nice pattern on it. Second thing here is... Um, a while back, I bought a keychain camera, um, but the camera was faulty. When um, it set to record, it didn't save um, the footage, so I asked for a new replacement one, and this is what they sent me. Apparently, it come here with a, a charge cable and a key ring attachment and a bit of Velcro. It also comes with this cable here, which is like. Um, for if you want to use it for like FPV, which means you can leave it on the plane and you can have like a receiver on or a transmitter on the plane and a receiver by hand and you can watch live what you're filming. And then in here we got the camera and it's supposed to be a better one than one I actually ordered to start with because this one here should have um, a fisheye attached to it, which should be really great. I don't know if it comes with uh, a memory card as well. I think it should do. I'm not too sure. No, it doesn't. Oh, bummer. But anyways, this is the camera, and uh, it got um, a wide lens on it, which is really cool, and the cover is nice. I like the fact that it's got a cover. Um, I thought it did come with um, a memory stick, but apparently not. This camera here should be able to be lifted by my little uh, helicopter, you know, this little beast here. It should be able to be mounted underneath like this, and I should be able to fly with it. So we're going to try that maybe a little bit later. It's not very windy today, so it'll be perfect for it. All right, it is now sitting on the Hudson. Maybe you can see it in the window. Can you see that? Don't know. But let's try and see if it still fly. It's going to be interesting. It's a little bit wind out here, but I think we'll be all right. Put you down here. Take off. <laughs> it does work. So here's my diggers. Look, all nice and shiny. Can you see there? There's like a little indentation there. I found out that clear coat I bought is very, very soft, even though it has passed the drying time. So I am really disappointed at that because the guy said, 
oh, it's perfect for wood, it'll be perfect, and it'll go solid hard. I mean, this has been drying for almost 24 hours, and I, I just carried it, this cable here on top, and it left an indentation in it, which is really, really bad. If you purchase some of my decks we've got the clear coat, um, I'm really, really sorry about the indentations in it. Um, this is the first time it ever happened to me. Of course it had to happen at the time where I made the most decks. But if you purchase one of the decks or you're going to purchase some of the other ones I still have here, which still have a clear coat on them, but they, they have been quite dry for a while, so they're alright, um, no problem there. But in the future I will buy a higher quality clear coat, which don't want to do this because I'm really annoyed now. I have done such a nice job on this deck, and then bloody this indentation just seems to appear, which is not very very fun. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be setting this deck up now with my um my Black River trucks and flatfish wheels. Yay! I'm gonna put four corner tape on it because it's like four corner tape. Sweet. Tray flip, nurse grind. Ah, getting ready for a nice barbecue, and the coals are heating up over here in our grill starter. Can you see the flame? Just about. It's getting really, really hot in there, which is nice. About the lawnmower, uh, the garden tractor, I found the fold. I think I did. Um, it's not something I'm able to make myself. Um, but what it is, you can see this is the whole cutter thing. This is what drives the blade. The blade is underneath here, if you look. Can you see that? That's the blade spinning there. Um, but yeah, this is attached underneath that thing. And this here is being pulled by... Um, th that's what's pulled the clipper. And that's been pulled by a, f a belt like this, who goes back to the motor and being pulled around like this. And this goes... And this here is what makes this thing work. You pull this lever here, and this will pull out that, like so, and tighten this belt. So, um... The whole thing would be start driven the knife around. But the problem is, that and that has to be leveled out. Can you see that, guys? They are not level. That is much higher. That needs to come down, like, much more than that. Um, but when you put force on it, where it's supposed to sit, like there, it is much higher. Um, and therefore, the belt is not being pulled straight. It's been pulled, like, if you look at this, like up, like that. And this, these belt can't stand that. They, they cannot do that. Um, and that's why, if you look at this, let me just try and get this belt here off. And put it somewhere flat. Well, how's it got stuck there? Can you see the shape? That's because it's been, it's been ripped the wrong way. Normally, it would be hanging straight down. If I put it on, let's put it on the sun bed here, you'll see it. It's lifting up and that's because it's been pulled the wrong way. So what needs to be done here is that this whole thing needs to come down so they are level. Um, so that goes over there. And if that works, then I'm sure the whole thing will work and we can start cutting the grass. Because it's getting long and this is the lawnmower which I borrowed from my neighbor but it's really, really annoying. Um, we only have problems with it. I tried so many times to get started today, and no luck. My new fingerboard is amazing. I landed um, kick flip, rail kick, and then did a tray flip nose grind. First try, all three of them. So it's it's a very very good um, fingerboard. I'm very pleased with it. And as a new thing, guys, I'm riding medium kick. I normally always been riding high kick. But I'm thinking about changing over and going to a lower shape. So I've gone to medium now. It'll take a little time to get completely used to it, but I'm getting there. And I'm really, really excited about that. On Saturday, Christian Weischer, um, CW Pop 1, and uh, Victor uh, is coming down here. Not to me, but we're going down to the skate park. Uh, but they're coming down maybe a little bit earlier and we can go do some fingerboarding around town Slales there. Which is going to be awesome, and then we head out to the skate park after. Alright, I'll better tend to the barbecue, because I'm the grill master normally, so... See you a bit later. Hi guys, it's evening time now, it's actually like 11 o'clock at night. Um, and I've just been up helping one of my friends. Um, we're cleaning the whole house. He's having some German friends coming to visit his house tomorrow. And um, 
he hasn't been able to clean for a long time, like not a long time, but he hasn't been able to do like a thoroughly clean. And I'm very, very good at cleaning um, when I have to. <laughs> um, so I said to him, well, I can come and do it for you and uh, maybe you can help me out some other time. So he did. Gosh, I'm getting tired. I want to go home and have a shower and go to bed. Um, but it's really nice to be fingerboarding again. I just did a little bit today, as you guys saw. And um, to me, it's quite new to be on my media mold. You would think that I had all my three molds as a complete setup ready to ride. I haven't. Um, I've always been riding high kicks, but I wanted to transfer down to medium and then eventually maybe low. I don't know if I'm going to go to low. I'm just thinking I'm going to stay at medium. Um, right now, it feels quite good. i got to say, the new deck tray flips are so quick because my flips now on a shorter deck is much quicker so uh, and pop shove it on they're just crazy because I'm used to pop a lot harder to get a longer deck to fly around so having a shorter board now I don't have to work so much but I have to get used to not having to work so much um, the only thing I have to learn now is pop harder to get higher ollies and higher tricks generally but I'm sure it'll come in time Anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Friday tomorrow. It's Friday, Friday. So I haven't really got anything planned for tomorrow. Other than that, I'm going to try and see if we can find out if I have a lawnmower fixed somehow. Because um, that would be very nice. But other than that, no plans. Maybe I'll make a fingerboard edit tomorrow. Who knows? It's been a while. So, All right, guys. Take care. I love you all. You're awesome and epic. And thank you for being the best out there. Take care. Bye.